Hey YouTube, Fast Eddie here. It's Friday, yeah. It was a long day, uh, Wednesday, pouring concrete. Um, put some clear uh, on the slab and got that done and waiting. So, I want to do a quick video. Um, I got bit by the red tool again. So, uh, I really need a uh, cordless sawzall. Was looking at Home Depot, they're running on a, a sale. It was either 99 or 79, I can't remember, for the um, first, um, the earlier model than this one. This one is a fuel uh, brushless. There's three models. Um, there's this one and there's another one that I think that has a, um, it's either a bigger motor or something's different about it. It's a, it's more improvement, but this is the brushless, which, which I wanted. Um, I thought I remembered uh, when I was at Home Depot, they were they were more than $200. Now it shows they're $200. But I bought this on Marketplace for, for $160. It is brand new. Um, I've just opened the box, but that's about it, it that I have done. So we'll pull it out here. Stick a battery on it and just, you know, just check it out. They claimed it was brand new. I, I don't understand how they're cheaper and I don't know, I thought Walmart was supposed to be, you know, the place to go for for your best pricing. No, did I say Walmart? I meant Home Depot. <laughs> I don't ever go to Walmart. Let's just put a battery on it. I have a battery right here. It's hard to do with one hand. good so nice tool I saw some other tools that I might like to get later like the uh, impact uh, 3h ratchet they had have, have one that um, it's got to over 200 foot-pounds of torque on it I looked on the rating of the one uh, half inch impact that I had bought from the uh, from the garage sale that I was at um, and that is the the bigger one that they make that thing um, it I think I saw it at retail for like 380 the tool only when I was in there which is really pricey especially since I only paid 30 bucks for it but uh, that thing has 1400 foot-pounds of uh, breakaway torque so oh, that's like that's a lot <laughs> so yeah but the those just came five minutes ago in, in the UPS truck. So, um, there's my late model Chevy there. Love that truck. Um, what I wanted to, to do a video on is not the truck, but um, wheels that I've got for my for my big truck, my ramp truck. So, um, these are factory wheels that I'm going to show you. That actually came on a Dodge. Because Dodge and Chevy and Ford, the, the, um, the later years... Uh, they got into different bolt patterns. So this wheel you see sitting here in the, in the rocks, that is a uh, awful late model Dodge. Gosh, I want to say the bolt pattern is eight on six and a half. But Dodge is one of the only ones that didn't. Uh, I don't. Maybe they are now, but in the in the longest period, did not change their lug pattern. So. If you're wanting um, cool looking mag wheels, these are here. They are aluminum. They were a high polish. I got a really good deal on them. They are a pretty pricey wheel uh, for a factory wheel. Guys want a lot of money for them. Um, uh, this one in particular here had a, um, had a crack right along here. So we welded up the crack. And you can see the weld on this side here. Along the beat, right here's where it was cracked. So what I done with these wheels, um, well, the light shows it much there, but uh, 
I polished all the holes. Very time consuming. Polished all the holes, polished this ring, and then the rest of the wheel I bead blasted. Now I was gonna go with the powder coating on the wheel of high gloss black and those options uh, polished that I have polished. But from previous experience, I know that to have that hard crisp, crisp line is about impossible for the, for the powder coater. So this is what I come up with. All this work I did here myself. And I think what I'm gonna do, because I like the look, so I don't know if it shows up on the camera much there, but um, I'm just gonna have them clear coated. So that way, that finish will stay true to the wheel. You know, um, what I like about this finish is, is that there's a little bit of polish, so a little bit of bling, and then when the light catches it right, there's a sparkling on the, on the aluminum there um, of the, from the uh, sandblasting. So it's kind of got a, like a little kind of a glitter to it. It's kind of it's kind of cool. So yeah, I think that's the wheels I'm gonna go with. These are 17, uh, 17 inch diameter. I'm trying to think of the width. Those are eight, eight inch, no, six inch. Well, these are a dually wheel. Of course, you could see that. They might be six inches. But uh, so. The flip side, because one side is going to have to be, uh, if you can see that very well, but I had to do the same thing on the inside. So this wheel here would be, I'm thinking it's going to be my outer wheel on the front. So it's all you're always going to see this side, basically because I want to monitor that little, that little crack there. Now, at that distance right there, it's... It shows up, but with it being uh, bead blasted, I think it's um, it's going to hide it better. That was another reason that I kept it like that. I didn't want to remove all the weld because then, you know, I'm taking away the strength of the weld. So that's going to have to be good enough. Yeah, I like good deals. These wheels I paid 300 bucks for. They want, a, they want a lot of money for these wheels. Big trucks for, for um, big big wheels for trucks are, are very spendy, so. And the wheels, um, man, they just really make a make a rig, especially, you know, especially on my, my late model here. This truck here is, I'm gonna do a video on it sometime, but those real wheels may really make it look good. So hope you guys have a good Friday. Tomorrow is a swap meet day for me. Very excited about going to a swap meet. I get to go over to very many lately. Um, and this is one of the, my favorite ones to go to. Might do a little taping on it. Let you look at some good deals. So, all right, you guys take it easy.